Like any respectable booktuber, I now have a bookshelf, which I'm very happy about, but I don't necessarily like the way it looks yet. I'm still working on that. Give me time. Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. This book is quite simply a masterpiece. It's perfectly well written and accomplishes exactly what it should for the kind of book that it is. I'm not normally a huge historical fiction fan, and I know I'd get more views reviewing a popular fantasy or sci-fi book, but this book is just so good, I feel like I have to just tout it as much as I can, and this channel is what I'm going to use to do it. There are many great aspects to this book. The world building, while being just the world, is still done incredibly well, just in the environment that the characters are placed and the setting around them. It aids the storytelling in such a way that only a few great authors could really capture. The plot and storyline are engaging, and while slow-paced, that helps lend to the actual outcome and the stakes throughout the book. You definitely definitely feel throughout the entire time you're reading that maybe the bad people will win and it's kind of insurmountable odds and this is not the typical book with a standard one instance of badness and the character overcoming it and then reaching the final victory at the end. This is a long schlog in every sense of the word and that's not a bad thing. Almost a lifetime passes throughout Pillars of the Earth and that just makes the stakes of what the characters are trying to achieve for such a long time really feel real. But where this book really stands out is the magnificent character work. Both good and bad characters are developed in such a way that you want to follow them throughout the entire book. There's not one character that when you're focusing on them you kind of groan and want to go on to the next chapter everyone you are invested in because they all feel real and they all have their own wants, needs, and goals that make you as the reader love them and want to just root for anyone and everyone, except for a couple that are so evil they're basically the devil. Even they are so well written though that you're fascinated while you follow them. There are good authors and there are great authors. Ken Follett definitely falls into the latter. I am in love with his writing style, his dedication to character development, and the way he uses his characters to tell a story. There was never anything that felt like it was happening just to happen. Everything was happening due to character motivation and action, and that is something that I really look for and I cannot praise enough because this being so purely that makes everything feel like higher stakes. When things don't just happen in your book, they happen as a result of action. Then that story and the plot have weight to it because you know everyone involved can move the direction of the story, and most certainly everyone, every character, whether good or bad, does shift the plot in this story. There's not just an initiating incident and the good guys responding. There is a back and forth here that results in a beautiful story that anyone would enjoy. I don't care if you only read fantasy or you only read mystery novels or sci-fi or whatever it is. If you pick up Pillars of the Earth, it will blow you out of the water. I'll stake my reputation on my channel on that. It's so good. I immediately picked up another book by him, A World Without End, that I would recommend just as much. I've read three Ken Follett books total, and I certainly plan on reading more in the future. I'm giving Pillars of the Earth a beautiful cathedral out of ten, because that's what it is. Pillars of the Earth is nearly flawless, with its rock-solid foundation and the world it's set in, to the interesting, beautiful, intricate characters that stand atop it. I cannot stress enough that this has to be in your reading list if you're willing to put up with some gut-turning, horrifying, dark scenes. And you know me, I don't like over-the-top dark books, but this just felt human and it felt real. That's my thoughts and opinions on Pillars of the Earth. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, let me know what you think of my background and what I could do to make it better. I'm also going to do a little Q&A next video, I think, if I get enough questions down below. Just if you have anything you want to know about my opinions on certain books or me or anything like that, drop a comment down below and I'll answer it in my next video. Uh, I hope you all are having a great day. Please like and subscribe and all that YouTube stuff. Uh, peace.